So real quick, I just wanted to make a quick general announcement about what my plans are for next month. Long story short, I've gotten the new Archer character that we're going to be using in Unreal 5 almost completely done. She's technically already exported into the engine, but we're still working on her textures. And once those are done, we still have to test and make sure that they're compatible with the new custom color system that we're making for Unreal 5. I really want the players to be able to just make their own color schemes the same way that we can in Armored Core. But that system has turned out to be extremely complicated to make but I'm not giving up I really want players to have that so I am gonna take my best stab at it and you guys will probably see how it's coming up in about two weeks so in the meanwhile while I'm doing all of that stuff in the background I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some cool stuff that I've learned with some new software coming out regarding 3d AI and some of the cool tricks that I've learned regarding 2d AI and how to train your own images with your own unique art style using your own original artworks as the training data set now Personally, even as an artist, I don't see anything wrong with using AI, especially if you're using it trained on your own artwork that you own 100% of the rights to. It's really fun, it's really powerful, and best of all, it's completely free. And we are basically now in a world where a small indie team can now create the quality and the quantity of work that used to only be restricted to AAA companies. So if you're a solo artist or a solo indie dev and you feel overwhelmed, then feel free to drop by next week. You might learn some tricks that'll save you a lot of time. Also, on a side note, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I'm going to try next month that will be a little bit of an experiment. I've been following a lot of Big Daddy Pirates content recently, and something you said that really got my attention is how pushing notifications to subscribers might actually be hurting my videos more than it is helping. Basically, what he said is the way the YouTube algorithm works is if you push a video to all your subscribers and most people don't interact with it, maybe because it's not relevant to what they're doing or they don't like it, or maybe they just don't check YouTube anymore. Whatever the reason is, YouTube will assume that, hey, most of this person's subscribers do not interact with the video, so we're going to stop promoting it. And I thought about this a lot because I think this kind of really applies to my channel in particular, because essentially our theme is indie game design. And when you're doing indie game development, you really have to wear a bunch of different hats all the time. Sometimes we're covering poly modeling, sometimes we're covering sculpting, sometimes we're covering texturing, or UV mapping, or rigging, or animating, or programming, or debugging, or lighting, or level design, or marketing, or testing, just to make sure the game doesn't crash. And over the course of seven years, I've basically shown you guys the entire process from character creation, to animation, programming, and now blueprints in Unreal. And I'm really proud of all the tutorial series that we've completed. Because when I was starting, people would always tell me, yeah, I struggled to figure out all this over 10 years, so you have to struggle with it too. And this idea that I had to suffer and nobody helped me when I needed help, so I'm not going to help you. This mentality just really pisses me off. And so from that point on, I dedicated my whole channel to just sharing what I know so that you guys don't have to waste your time looking for all this information like I did. And it took like seven years, but I think it was definitely worth it. But something that is also true about this channel is a lot of people are here for different reasons. Some of you guys subscribed for the Blender content. And some of you guys subscribed for the ZBrush content. Some of you guys subscribed for Unity or Unreal or Substance. And because this channel has stretched across so many different fields, it's statistically unlikely that any one video I make will ever appeal to most of you at the same time. And I think when I try and push it to everybody, it's actually probably hurting us in the algorithm. So I'm going to try something new. After this video, I'm going to uncheck the push notifications button and just let the algorithm do its thing. It's very possible this will probably hurt the channel, but luckily there's enough awesome people supporting me on Patreon and YouTube memberships where luckily I have enough support that, hey, if we don't do really well this month, we'll still have enough to do better next month. So for all of you guys on the support squad, thank you very much for being there because without you guys, I really wouldn't have the leeway to try and test things with the YouTube channel the way I am now. So again, this might actually backfire and just be a terrible idea, but at the same time, I think it's worth testing out because you never know. So for all of you who are regular viewers and you're used to getting my notification every time I publish something, because it's probably not going to happen now, if you want to make sure you don't miss anything, the best way to do that is to simply join my Discord and there's a section called new releases. And all that means is every time I publish a public video on YouTube, you will get a little ping here. I normally upload once every two or three days, so it really shouldn't ping that often often. It's completely free to join and it's the best way to make sure that you don't miss any of the new episodes. If you're a member of the support squad then obviously you always know when I publish stuff. 
if you're in the king tier or the sovereign tier you guys will even see the unpublished things that are stuff that i learned on the spot or stuff that i'm working on or things that i plan to publicize later when they're more relevant in the series but anyway, I'm going to test the notification push algorithm thing. So if you want to follow what I'm doing, just join the Discord and you'll never miss a thing. Anyway, regardless, I got a lot of cool stuff planned out for the next few months. And I can't wait to show you. So please look forward to that. Thanks for watching. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you around.